here at the Fairmont Southampton. I am your host, Katrina Ball, and you're watching The Parent Life Show. Today, we are going to be talking about the ultimate taboo, child sexual abuse. Let's look at this clip. To better understand child sexual abuse, we will be talking with a survivor of child sexual abuse, Kimley Huey, as well as Debbie Ray Rivers and John Brunson, the founders of SCARS, Sheila Cooper from the Coalition of Protection for Children, and finally, Dr. Philip Bromley will be giving us a perspective on offenders. We're going to start with our survivor of child sexual abuse, Kimley Huey. Welcome. Thank you. If it were up to you, how would you punish your abuser? Hmm. That's, that's a good question, but I mean, to be honest, I've never, I didn't prosecute or pursue it. I didn't even disclose until I was 24. Um, but I like to believe that he's getting his own bit of punishment now, you know, but I think that the courts need to step up mm -hmm. and make sure that children are protected and even the offenders get some additional help, the help that they may need so that they don't offend again. So when you hear of cases that are either brought before the court or just cases in general, uh, do you relive any of the moments? I do. Um, one, one, t one moment in particular that I can really remember there was a BB gun around of a little girl, fellatio and a gentleman. And I looked at it, and the first time I looked at it, I didn't really grasp the picture. I had to look at it like two and three times, and the third time I actually looked at the picture, I didn't see the little girl, I saw myself. Wow. So, wow. you know. And I, my first memory is from the age of three. Mm -hmm. So it's, and what people fail to realize is that it actually stays with you forever. It really does. There are times now that my husband, I feel bad for him because he does, he tries to understand what I've been through, but he really doesn't because he's never experienced it himself. Mm -hmm. And there are times that he has to pull back and, you know, I pull off of him just because of some of the things that I've been through. Sheila, do you find that this is, uh, I don't want to use the word normal, but how survivors usually process um, their experience? Well, Kimley has been very brave uh, to share her story. She has. Uh, and it, it's because of people like her that more people are coming forward. Uh, but her, her story is very typical in that she never told anybody until she was 24. Mm -hmm. And most victims of sexual abuse don't tell anybody. Thank you very much for sharing, Kimley. Uh, I know this is very hard for you. I can definitely emphasize as a survivor myself um, when we come back from this break, we will be joined by Debbie Ray Rivers as well as John Brunson from SCARS and continue this discussion. Uh, and I think why uh, there aren't harsher sentences is simply because uh, society has, uh, especially when you talk about the issue of incest, has seen that as something less than what it is. Mm. Child sexual abuse is a crime. If you look at the Child Protection Act, it defines incest as a misdemeanor. Um, and so I think this is one of the contributing factors as to why sentences aren't tougher. Do you think that offenders can be rehabilitated or treated? Visit our YouTube channel, Parent Life, leave your comment and your opinion. I want to especially thank Fairmont Southampton for allowing us to be able to film here. And we want to thank you as the viewers for watching. This is Parent Life TV, the lifestyle network for parents, brought to you from Bermuda Parent Magazine.